The Clinical Research Training Center really is the umbrella organization for all of our clinical and translational research training at Washington University School of Medicine, but also Washington University in St. Louis because it includes departments and schools from the Danforth campus. Brad and Jay and I worked together to design a vision in which we would have training programs for everyone, for undergraduates, for graduate students, for pre-docs, for post-docs, and for faculty members, so that it would be for people from diverse disciplines and backgrounds, science and medicine, surgery, pediatrics, OB, physical therapy, occupational therapy, audiology, and by bringing these diverse groups together, we'd really foster team-based science and, and really have a combination of great coursework and graduate training, but also mentored research experiences. And it's been incredibly successful. I think one of the competitive advantages that our trainees have is this ability to tap into um, funding sources and colleagues and circles of scientific awareness that they didn't have. What excites me is that I get to sit with clinicians, I get to sit with basic scientists, um, clinical researchers, policy makers, and I get to kind of aggregate all of their ideas into one single focus in that how can we improve the drug development process. There's still a critical need for understanding how do we get discoveries that have been made in the lab in basic science research out of the lab and into the clinic and actually into the general population to really improve health. Going through undergrad, I was really interested in engineering and mathematics. Um, I wasn't, I liked the coursework, but I wasn't crazy about applying it to bridges or, or building roads. Um, so it wasn't really until I'd say my, my senior year of undergrad that I kind of worked my way into this the field of, of biomechanics or understanding that the principles that you learn in engineering can be applied to the body. One of the main reasons to, to join the, the Clinical Research Training Center was uh, to make sure that I had that kind of broad view of how we approach someone who's in pain. The science of team science tells us every new team that comes together has to spend this long lead-in time getting to know each other's language, getting to know each other's scope of practice, the way we view problems, how our work overlaps, how, we, how this overlap might even be viewed differently. And I think team training like we have gives people a competitive edge. The NIH, the National Science Foundation, HRQ, CDC, they're all looking for more translational research, not less. They want team-based training, they want team-based science, and some of the biggest challenges in medicine today really cannot be solved by single investigators or small labs working independently. We really need people to be working in teams to address really big complex problems. So that means we need more translational investigators, more clinical investigators, really focusing on problems that span the spectrum from first in human studies to implementation and dissemination. Washington University is the best possible place to be doing that kind of work because we have such extraordinary basic science. If we can continue to grow our clinical and translational research, our public health, we can truly reduce health disparities and speed the, the translation of these basic science discoveries into improvements in human health.